Eric Olson, KSMQ Public Television here in Austin uh, with you once again following the governor and we are joined now, happy to be joined from Wabasha County, Tammy Fiedler, who is Public Health Director at Wabasha County. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Eric. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're pleased to bring you here. Thank you very much for your service. How's it going in Wabasha County? Last we checked, it was pretty quiet relative to other places with regard to COVID-19. How's it going now? Uh, currently, we have 10 laboratory confirmed cases in Wabasha County. A couple new cases added last week and over the weekend. Um, staying busy, at least nine of my staff are working either part-time or three-quarters of the time on the COVID response here in Wabasha County. Uh, primarily, their work right now is engaging with the public. We are running a hotline here in Wabasha County, fielding calls every day, answering emails, sending out partner communications to schools, clinics, hospitals, long-term care facilities, um, food shelves, other, other community partners, just to keep them updated with the most current information here in Wabasha County. Well, you're doing a good job, and the residents are doing a good job, obviously, at the uh social distancing and, and so on with the low numbers. Do you have as high of agriculture in some of the other counties? They're seeing farmers back out in the fields, uh, but I'm not as familiar with Wabasha County as far as if they have a, a lot of agriculture. We do. We have a lot of agriculture here in Wabasha County. And one of our key messages this, this time of the year is to farmers specifically about planting season is here and very busy. Um, that means farmers are working long hours and we're encouraging them uh, now more than ever to take care of themselves and their own health and, and uh, reminding them that their health is as important as their machinery and, and running correctly. Um, we're asking them to limit non-essential visitors to the farm as much as they can and practice social distancing at all times. And then we also have a hotline available for farmers because we know some of them are struggling currently with the uh, the market. So there's a rural helpline that's available 24 seven. And the number for that is 833-600-2670. It's free and it's confidential. Again, the number is 1-833-600-2670. Very good. We're talking with Tammy Fiedler, Public Health Director in Wabashaw County. And Tammy, uh, speaking of mental health, that was an issue for agriculture folks even before this COVID-19 hit. So I, I had not thought of that, but this is probably just another burden. Yes, I agree. I agree. It's very um, scary times for our agriculture community. And in the hospital there, uh, you've made, or the hospital has made some, done some jerry-rigging to accommodate this COVID-19. Yes, our hospital, St. Elizabeth's Hospital has been, been um, working on this and their response for quite some time. They've been able to do some adjustments so that they're able to isolate patients. Um, when they come in and have symptoms of COVID-19, they've converted some rooms into um, negative pressure rooms, which has the ventilation that's required in these types of situations. They've also included that in their emergency room and they've, um, since operations and elective surgeries are down, they've done some negative pressure changes in the operating rooms as well to accommodate for overflow. So um, the hospital has been very instrumental in planning ahead and we appreciate their partnership. We're in contact almost daily with them with situational updates so that we're all aware of what each other is doing during this time. And uh, that's St. Elizabeth's part of uh, Ascension Health. Correct. Uh, finally, how do you interact or do you interact with your fellow, with your neighboring counties and with the state? you would seem, the county health department would seem to me to be the first responders from information coming from the state. How do you, how do you uh, interact with each other? So the state and county partnership is, is very um, instrumental in, in things like this. They're getting the laboratory confirmed cases and they're communicating that down to us. At this time, MDH is doing all of the contact tracing and investigation but we're working on training for local county health departments so that we can begin to do our own to take some of the burden off of the Department of Health. As you can imagine, they've been busy running 24 seven operations since, since all this began. We're about six or eight weeks into it now. So um, as the numbers continue to rise there, of course, capacity is getting stressed, stretched. So 
um, we're happy. We are in um, communication with the counties surrounding us, Winona County, Goodhue County. We do um, Buffalo as well and um, Pepin counties in Wisconsin and they're involved. We do a call uh, weekly with our local hospital and Buffalo County and um, Pepin County so that we can, many of those um, individuals would come across the river to be treated at St. Elizabeth's Hospital. So we feel it's very important to be aware of what they're doing in their areas too. Well, great. It sounds like uh, residents in Wabashaw County are in good hands. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, the residents here in Wabasha County are doing a good job with social distancing and we encourage them to continue to listen to state and local officials on how we can continue to stop the spread of COVID-19. Thank you very much, Tammy Fiedler. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Tammy Fiedler is Public Health Director of Wabasha County. For now, I'm Eric Olson, KSMQ Public Television.